We were made to flourish. But what does that look like? What does it feel like to be grounded in Christ? What does it look like to grow in community, to cultivate hospitality, pursue beauty? I would say the purpose of Heritage is probably learning a lot about yourself and discovering things that you probably don't think of every day, things that you want, like, want to uncover, um, and within those meanings, finding what God has put you in those places for, like finding where your roots are. So our first day was prepare, our second was plant, then tend, prune, and harvest. We start off every day with breakfast, um, then we'll do a chapel, morning assembly, and then class or an excursion. So we were really working together, interacting. That's been different from high school. So that was really fun and interesting and different to experience that kind of college side of things. The Christian life isn't about just learning what is good, what God requires of us but it's about putting those things into practice in the daily, sometimes mundane tasks of everyday life. Where I grew up, I did never really had a small group before. They didn't ask the questions I was looking for. And coming here and getting together with a group of people who appeared to think like I did, who asked the big questions, who wanted the big answers, it was interesting to hear also the, all the different perspectives on where they saw God and His hand in everything. The work of deep spiritual formation takes practice and it takes time. You can't accomplish it in a week. But what you can do in a week is develop a framework for discovering who you are, where you're planted, what obedience looks like in the kingdom of God, and surround yourself with a community that is all walking in that same direction. I didn't know a single person before coming here, and now I feel like I have this community of just some of these amazing people that I met that are friends, and just being able to like, all be in one room and like night in one dorm and just talk and sit on the bed and just pray for each other was something that I had never really experienced before and it was it was a really beautiful thing. There's just a lot of hope I've gotten here and I don't want to lose sight of that and I don't think I will now. Um, I always want to have that in the back of my brain um, and just that affecting me in my everyday life. <laughs>